All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Cyberpunk 2077 Part 42. We're back at it. Let's do this. All right. So, uh, we should have a lot of extra weapons to sell nowadays. We can go ahead and sell that. These are some good sniper rifles. It's a shame we don't want to use them. <clears throat> hmm. This has shock chance, which is really good. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot more damage. Tell you what, I'm actually going to pop that on. And we'll just roll with that. Because that's so much more damage that it's worth it, I think. Even though it's a double shotgun, which we weren't the biggest fan of. The tactician isn't just doing... It's not doing enough damage anymore. It's not even worth using in these fights. So, we'll forget about this. Disassemble it. Um, weapons. We're going to keep the cotton mouth, which is crazy. Um... We never really gave it a look, did we? Well, its DPS is definitely not bad. Um, may not be lethal, but your enemies will wish it was. 248 damage, um, non-lethal. 50 to 61 electric, 50 to 61 chemical for the big uh, stuff. 50% more crit damage, 25% poison chance, 10% shock chance. Jesus. That's a lot going on right there. I don't think it matches up to our baseball bat, unfortunately, but I mean, damn. Increase crit chance by 2, crit damage by 6. Okay, those are good. Crit, crit damage by 10 is so much better, though. Whoops. Well, I guess that's on there now. Okay. <laughs> well, we have 2% crit chance on our shotgun now, because I accidentally clicked it. Whoops. Alright, any good armor slots here? 10 movement speed. Ooh, showtime. That's good. 13 movement speed. Evasion. I don't know if these things stack. Uh, it's really weird that some things stacks and some don't. Last time I played Cyberpunk. Jesus, 12% crit chance. That's right. We were going to go and try and disassemble that at some point. Um, if we can get something from here that has a slot. There's not. Damn. Because we would love a, an armor upgrade here. Let's put... I don't know what this lock key thing is. I might even Google it just because I don't want to waste it. Man, I don't like Googling things in these games. I really don't. We have 10 movement speed on the pants. Hold it. Let's check the stats. Let's see if movement speed can stack. If it says that anywhere. Movement speed is 4. Interesting. If I put this on... I'm going to try it. Stats, other. Still 4. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Street cred rewards. At 37, we got vend... Okay. 45 weapon vendors that will have new weapons to sell. And then 50 ripper docks sell you new cyberware. This is the big one. This is what we need. So we can get the best cyberware in the game. Which means we should probably stop buying cars right now. Because we kind of need better stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. Put that on. For sure. Can I find something other than this? No. No, we can't. Yeah, put this on though. That's way better. So we can get rid of that now. What? There it goes. Uh, <laughs> no, we're good. Uh, I really like the look of that, but we don't need that. I also like the look of that, but we don't need it. A lot of good tops we had sitting in our inventory here. Damn. Johnny's shoes are still going to be Johnny's shoes, I'm sure. I really like the look of these. So I'm going to keep those. For the same reason I'm keeping those booty jeans. Let's get rid of these. Alright. There we are. Okay. So that's <laughs> that's currently our look. Yeah, the 850 DPS bat. I don't know how we found this so early and why it's this good, but it's so good. Alright. Uh, I don't think we have any perk points. No? Alright. Let's go talk. Oh, crafting 9 from that. Which we did have the experience to gain, which is good. Because we have our tech at 10 right now. Um... Cool has plenty of room to grow. Annihilation's at 54. Street Brawler's at 68. Body's got room to grow. We might take tech again next time. We'll see. Alright. Let's see how Evelyn and Judy are doing. Because we kind of left off on a heavy moment last time. Judy's apartment. I'm kind of hype about this. Wait, I have been here. I, I, ha I was here last time I played this game. 
I didn't remember that part, but I, I definitely have. I, I, She's sleeping. I remember this. It's such a cool apartment, though. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she holding up? How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I get you, Judy. I just want you to know that. Thank you, Judy. You're mad at her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. Either. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Um, how many BDs are there? How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. You watch them already? We saw them already. Yeah, had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. That's pretty wise, actually. All right, let's see it, Judy. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Okay. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. Yeah, I'm trying. I'll be the first to admit. This does not look good. How you feeling, hey, Evelyn? I don't think she's gonna feeling? answer. Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask her for information right now. Well, now, look at you. Alright. We already know that one. We already know this one. A lot of data- a lot of, uh, shards in... ...your place. Five grenades. Damn, Judy, okay. The Green Death. That, I think that one's new. Hold up. The weather man peered into the eyes of the young nomad as if trying to divine his thoughts. Don't misunderstand, he said. I don't mind unexpected guests, but you must recognize when a man lives alone in the middle of the desert, he has a right to ask uncomfortable questions. The boy wouldn't make eye contact, instead glancing nervously through the window, as if expecting to spot an armada of battle drones coursing straight for him across the night sky. I, I'm running away, he muttered after a moment of hesitation. From Green Phantom. He's been following me since Yellow Creek. The old man didn't move a muscle save for a twitch at the corner of his mouth. Revealing he knew more than he cared to admit. You have nothing to fear, he said softly. The Green Phantom only comes for the worst criminals. If you hold regret in your heart, he'll forgive you. He'll offer a second chance. This is gonna be him. The old man is the Green Phantom. <coughs> Why else would he know that? The boy's anxious demeanor suddenly turned to a rebellious grin. I regret nothing. And you, old man, you don't have the faintest clue what you're prattling on about. You're wrong. I've also met the Phantom once before. The tenderfoot nomad's eyes widened in surprise for a brief moment. It seemed as if there was a question at the tip of his lips, but he refused to ask it. It's late, the old-timer said. You should sleep. You're exhausted and you need to gather your strength before you continue running, if that's what you choose to do. My home is open to you for the night. The boy uttered no thanks. Without a word, he stood and entered the small dark bedroom where his host had prepared a bed. To find his way, he switched on his infrared that immediately froze in place. There was a body lying on the bed. He edged closer until he could discern its shapes. A pool of cooling blood, withered hands contorted into unnatural angles. The vacant dead eyes of the old man he had only just been talking to in the other room. Oh, busted! Suddenly, the walls began to emanate an otherworldly olive glow. The boy could sense a figure enter the bedroom and stand behind him. If you regret nothing, hissed a cold, emotionless voice. 
Then why do you flee? Then black, the world of the young nomad plunged into darkness. Yo, busted. <laughs> why be me? We've read that. That was actually a pretty interesting one. New release brain dances. No thanks. All right. Fair enough. This looks almost like our, our little buddy bot in uh, the first mission with Jackie. Jackie! I miss Have Jackie. Man, nobody's staying, nobody's staying with us. We're losing everybody. You're all we got left, Jackie. Or, er, Judy. Relib.it. Braindance Quarterly. Guest Editorial. Braindance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real lived experience and technological experiential purity. The more heavily processed the material, the more abstracted the pathways, the clearer the braindance recording. These fundamental elements of design have guided editors since the first wave of brain-to-brain -brain experience sharing technology took hold. In their pursuit of balance, however, editors have clearly shown a bias for purity over naturalism over the years, even going so far as to use it... Oh, we have read this, actually. The point of production... Yeah, okay. I want to interact with these objects, but it's like forcing me to be in conversation. Okay. Let's get started, then. Alright. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. What a room she has right here. Need That's a lot of... This is a note. dope little office. Quality's lousy. Judy's got a pretty nice apartment here. What am I looking out for? Every... Take a look around if you want. Can't see her face. Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. Okay. That, or someone's working it for her. <sighs> I think I Big old hologram. This. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the voodoo boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Okay. Um. I remember this existing. I actually do want to play this because I don't think V is going to go through something traumatic if we play this through. Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait pour It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Damn, she wasn't supposed to be out for herself. She was working for whoever this was. And she didn't do it. Alright, let's go back to this now. Evelyn, when she was still completely safe. Okay, so we had something else to look at. Is it when she looked down? Yeah, it was. Relax, so. Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. Pacifica. And I don't think I went to Pacifica my first time. I don't think I made it that far. So, that would be new. Um... Okay. Let's see. Switch layers. A left shift. Okay. Any heat I'm missing. I love the way backwards dialogue sounds. <laughs> sounds like Simlish if you've ever played The Sims. Alright. So, nothing there. Probably something we can hear then. Oh, we okay, so we've discovered it all. Narrows it down to Pacifica, Voodoo Boy Hint, and that's it. Nothing else? 
every single piece of we tech need I see. We will secure every message. Okay. Only if All right. It's most important if that's what we're supposed to get from it, then I guess that's what we're supposed to get from it. Himself? All right. Think we got Should I... What do you think? Okay. Woman who hired her. Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now I know why they tried to flatline her. Now we know what happened at Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Wasn't completely honest with us. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. <laughs> and swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? I mean, why not? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oh, don't say that. You just jinxed the hell out of that. Oui, we are there. We have to be intelligent for that. We have to be able to be able her eyes don't translate or something. What are you doing, Evelyn? <laughs> this guy here is like, hello? What language is she speaking? Don't know. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see the other thing. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. Okay. See what the other side saying. Try scanning the phone. Just making sure there's no thermal for us to see here. I don't want to miss anything. Look how this guy just comes by and he's like, well, What are you doing, girl? But he ain't no snitch. <laughs> He just went on with his business. All right, let's see it. Got it. Give it a second. Heard something about Yorinobu. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like Silverhand. Have to know what they're saying. <laughs> we have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Thanks, Google Keep Translate. Fine with your system. I'll install it now. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't already have that. But okay, nice. Netrunner conversation. Let's listen in. Too smart for her own good. We're looking for alt anyway. Oh shit. Ah, let's go. Yo, this is kind of hype. Okay, Judy, we're good. Johnny said we were looking for alt. Alt. I want to say he gave us a last name. Alt something. I don't get it. What does this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died like forever ago. Yeah, but he's he's right there too. Hey, you got any idea? Uh, long story. Long story. Trust me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Um, of course. 
I'm not trying to hide it from you, Judy. Just like, that is a long story. Know how to find these people? Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. All right. These so what do they want from all? They want from all. How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever. One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her's our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju wirehead, okay? <laughs> we seem pretty sure that it's Voodoo Boys. Alright, Judy, I'm, uh... Whoa, I just tricked myself. I'm ready to talk. Hopefully I can still tell her. I'd hate to have lost that opportunity. Why is there a Thornton manual in here? Yo, what's Wait, with all the things? You got any idea how to get in touch with the little <coughs> boys? Um, I'll ask around. I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The voodoo boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. I think V likes to think she's a good person. We do a lot of killing in the name of what we believe to be good. Rewiring synaptic pathways? Have we, have we read this yet? Maybe not. Okay. The 21st century heralded a worldwide revolution in neurotechnology. We as a society can no longer imagine an existence without technologically heightened senses. Damn, we can't tell her about Johnny on the chip. Damn, I really feel like I messed up with that. Enhanced memory capacity and pain modulators. By linking our neural systems with computer chips, we are capable of learning complex skill sets in seconds then subsequently forgetting them again the instant they are removed. Today, after nearly 80 years of increasingly incorporating these technologies into our daily lives, we must now ask ourselves, what comes next? <clears throat> In recent years, the academic community has reignited discussions on possible new methods to influence brain plasticity. Is it possible to create permanent neural pathways using coprocessors? Can we expect a breakthrough regarding dopam dopaminergic? Dopaminergic? I think it's, I mean, it's dopamine, but I think it's dopaminergic data. Manipulation in our lifetimes? If so, what will be the consequences? The probable emergence of commercially viable artificial neur uh, neurotransmitters would undoubtedly reshape the health science field, yet would simulta simultaneously introduce a potentially destructive tool to most governments and corporations. The field of plasticity manipulation remains in its infancy, but most experts agree we should prepare for a future in which such neurological rewiring will become as commonplace as the cybernetic implants used so pervasively today. Studies so should begin exploring now how science can adapt our bodies to optimize the effects of this technology while minimizing its abuse and potential unwanted side effects. That sounds like actual brainwashing. Like with tech and everything. Tech thingy! Notes! Excellent! Forgot to change the notifications in the pressure, pressure gauge. Add an automatic reset when starting it up. Tracking module froze underwater again. Probably the waterproof case is blocking the signal. Fix, make an opening for an antenna. Connection loss with the barometer when set at bathymetric mode. Fix, add an automatic signal to switch back to last position before connection loss. <clears throat> Alright. Knows a robot. Know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? <coughs> wouldn't be surprised. Whole tech museum, interesting. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. <laughs> Chick's got taste. Nice. Except for one thing. And what's that? Way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Oh shit. Don't bust us like that, Johnny. Yo, Nicola too? That's it. That's the that's the thing that pushes us over. If she's a Nicola fan, then 
We're gonna taste the love, if you know what I mean. If, you, if you're picking up while I'm laying down. See you later, Judy. 10 eddies and 15 street cred. What the hell? Alright. Alright. Leave the apartment, then. Call Mr. Hands. Uh... I'm not going to Pacifica yet. That's so out of the way. What time is it, by the way? Six o'clock? Okay. Six o'clock on day four. We got a side job here. We got to meet Takamura here. And go to the dealer stash in Japantown. So we got a couple things to do in Japantown. So let's go take care of that. We could go do this since we're nearish by... Yeah, that, that's a pretty that's pretty close by nowadays. Or right now... No, we're going to have to visit all the Ripper Docks one day. When we get our street cred to 50. So let's go this. Let's do this. Alright. Where's our car at? There it is. Okay, so... Judy lives here. Um, right in the northeast Kabuki. Which is kind of close to... Uh, I think it's like right here. Yeah, I I want to say. I want to say that uh, what is that place called? God, my memory is so bad. The place where the mocks are. That I really like, enjoy the bar a lot, but my memory is broken, so I can never remember anything from more than two weeks ago. Something somewhere right here. So she's kind of close. All right. Let's get driving. What's that place called? Not Afterlife. It's, uh... Lizzie's! Lizzie's. God damn. I can't believe... Jesus, I'm so bad at remembering things. Alright. Here we go. With the nice 129,000 Eddy car. Yo, we're really close to level 23, actually. That's awesome. We're right on the cusp. I am going too far. Okay, looks like this way works, too. We can do that. This rain's kind of heavy. Woo! Oh my good god. We caught that. That's probably our first complete spin-out while driving. That was completely our fault. All right. Yeah, this city is not as beautiful in the rain, which makes sense. Very few places are. Excuse me. Here we are. I'm kind of hoping this is more Brendan stuff. <laughs> not gonna lie. It seems like it's in the rightish area to be more Brendan stuff. That's gonna be a whole quest chain, I'm telling you. Vehicle acquired. Human nature. What? Did we just get our car back? What? Please inform me that your vehicle has been repaired after suffering an unfortunate accident. It can be found in your garage ready for use. I wish you a good day and thousands of collision-free miles. Okay, wow, we got our car back. Just, just by existing. Sure. That's very interesting. Hey, ah. hey you. Y'all driving too slow, sorry. Not sorry. It is more Brendan stuff. Let's go. Did the rain just stop? Or is it because I'm... In cover. The rain did just stop. Awesome. Brendan, what's good? What are you doing? I'm perfectly satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much. What are you doing, bruh? Sir, please stop. You do fucking what? I could make you a cup of tea. How about groovy green? Didn't you hear what he asked? You deaf? He asked you to do something politely. Chill the fuck out. It's just an SCSM. Please, I'm gonna put him to sleep. Just leave me alone. Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. 
the humiliation. <laughs> Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry. You deserve it. You're one tough cookie. And yet, so nice. Not to everyone. <clears throat> I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? Can't speak ill? Does he know I'm dying? Brendan. Brendan. Brendan, listen to me. Why do you know I'm dying? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? Brendan, what the hell are you on about? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for a CSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, right? Catch you later, Brendan. Brendan, why are you scaring me? What is happening? Who's possibly going to a vending machine or near a vending machine that often that they can piece together our situation? Who knows of our situation? What is happening? That is the most suspicious shit I've heard in a really long time. I don't know if I like that. And by I don't know if I like that, I mean I don't like that. <clears throat> okay, so it is raining. We were just underneath the mega... Oh my god, wait a second. Really? We need to go over here? This seems so out of the way. Okay, we are not grabbing traction well in the rain. This is slippery. Corpo Plaza! <clears throat> and we're back out to City Center. Oh, no! City Center was behind us. I guess we counted as being there for a split second. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Nice. We have cover. We don't. Now we have cover. Oh, hey. I see. Excuse me, everybody. No hitting me, please. All right. Oh, hey. Go to the dealer's stash and there's people here. Go ahead and uh, have them go take a look at that. Oh. This guy sees us, I see. That's a problem, isn't it? Let's try it with the shotgun. Oh! I see! Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright. So, turns out double barrel shotgun is the way to go. You only get two shots before you gotta reload, but it counts for something. Wow, I liked that a lot. All right, double sh double barrel shotguns it is. Two really good shots, reload, two really good shots, reload. We can make that work. All right, here's where the stash is. A, a Yukimura smart pistol. That's a super disappointing stash. Hey, I don't think I know you. Hey, it's Claire. I'm Claire. Might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh, forgot to close my tab. <laughs> Far as a buzz about you lately, as the Merc who's reliable gets things done. And since I need help... Oh, hi. Okay. Need a driver for street races. Mm, I do remember that. Shop. I'll tell you more. All right, sounds good. Your garage, <clears throat> where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot, you can't miss it. <laughs> All right, try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire. All right. Uh, drones. Hey, Kim. Talk to a guy who deals with the tigers. Says they got some drones to unload. Militech moths. Jailbroken. De-ice the works. Ain't cheap, but think they're worth the scratch. Jonas and the boys already got some like them, but they're starting to poach our buyers. I mean, Carrie already said going to them exclusive. Already started going to them exclusive. Let me know what you think, but quick. Tiger's got another buyer ready, and if they don't get a decent offer from us, they'll close from Frank. Problem. 
Mia, cost of pure is going up, but price per hit is sticky as fuck. Shit keeps going the way it's going, biz won't make much sense. Gotta make the stuff last. Ideas? Could add some crushed up fluorescence. You get it fine enough, can't see a thing. Plus it cuts up the client's nose, makes the stuff absorb faster. Gonk won't even notice shit's been cut. Let me know what you think. Got a tune who can get us some burned out bulbs in bulk. Jesus, dude. This is rough. They're already really messed up drugs. But okay, sure. Alright, let's meet Takamura. <clears throat> and I think we're gonna go ahead and meet Takamura next time. I just wanna go ahead and, you know, get over there first before we call it an episode. But yeah. We are just about there, so we'll ta we'll do Takamura next time. That'll be a good point to leave off here, because I am almost out of time anyway. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really... Is that a crime? It is a crime. Don't... Don't kill me! Leave them alone. Alright, switch weapons. Switch weapons. Take a bounce back, just in case. I haven't used a baseball bat in a while. Oh, nice miss. He's blocking this? I don't think so. Where are you at? Alright. Had to clean up that crime, save some people, you understand? Okay. You're good to go. You're all safe now. Well, you know, for the immediate future. No promises about the near future. Alright. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Wait, there's two X's on the ground. There we are. Good thing for these X's. Did I not loot him? Huh. Yeah, alright. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining VNI on this journey. And we will see you next time. Uh, V, where'd you go?